Self has never been. Jesus. You may not have seen the scars that I'm wearing. You may look at the you may look that I'm well dressed. You may look and see the smile on my face. You may look and see me um, well eloquent. You may see me move, but you don't understand what I've been through to be where I'm at. Just because I can praise God now, you don't know the hell that I've been through to be in this place, to stand in a place where God can trust me to watch over your soul. You got to understand that if God has placed you under the watch of someone, he has placed you over someone that is walking over victory over the very thing that you're going through. Because if I'm not at victory, I can't bring you out of it. Amen. Jesus. That's why you call him a man of God. It means a man from God. Which means I'm not trying to see God like you. I'm coming from God. See, there's a difference with the people of God. In the Old Testament, in Isaiah 55 and 7, he said, Seek ye, seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he's there. Let the wicked forsake his ways and the righteous may the stars. But you can't lead the people in the path while you yourself are seeking God. Watch out. All right. All right. All right. You have to already been in the place where you've been there, where you're going through. I said, listen, I'm not seeking God. I'm coming from God. I'm sent by God unto you. I'm not your seeking God. And you know sometimes we do this in prayer. Oh, Lord, I'm seeking your face. Then you ain't ready to leave. Jesus. Not until you not until you found him and you're sent. Hey. Right. So when I come to you, I'm not coming to you trying to seek God, but you're coming from God to you. Amen. James, um, not James, John said that in 1 John 3 and verse 1, he said, that which we have seen, that which we have touched, that which we have handled, him we present unto you. It doesn't do you any good to stand before the people of God and to lead them where you have been. You know what? If you begin to lead someone where you have not been, you're going to lead them by theory and principles. Ooh. You become a seven-step preacher. You become a three-step preacher. You become a... Jesus. You ought to be able to stand up and speak the word of God. So when God began to, when God wanted to bring the children of Israel out of Egypt, he made sure that there was someone born of the children of Israel, but doesn't know what it's like to be a slave because a slave. Uh. Mm -hmm. Because if you're under the bondage of slavery, you can only take me so far. Ah. If you ever notice through history, when, 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 when someone is a runaway slave and they deliver a slave, they still stay on the run. Because mm -hmm. you can't free me if you were never free. Yes. But God made Moses free. And when Moses came, Moses wasn't trying to sneak out. He said, set my people free. Jesus. <laughs> But well, God spoke unto Moses, and God spoke to Moses on the mountain, and God said, You will know that I am the Lord, because you will bring them to worship on this mountain. And so God made a vow and said, In this place that I spoke to you, you're going to go down in the pit where they are, but you're going to pick them up and bring them here to this place where I spoke to you. And what am I telling you? I'm telling you that as a leader, I'm here to come into your situation and bring you into the place where I am, where I have face-to-face -face conversation with the God. It's very ironic about the story about the children of Israel because you never see any history or any record in the Bible that Moses ever set foot in the promised land. And so it disqualified him from being the one to bring them in the promised land. Jesus. God had to raise up a Joshua. Moses had never been in the promised land, so he couldn't bring them there. But Joshua went in the promised land when they sent the 12 spies in. Yeah. You have to already have been there to the place where you're going to in order to take someone there. Yes. You don't need a leader that's that's following the same GPS that you're following. Uh, I, don't know, I don't know what God is up to, but let's just, let's just see God and see what God has said. No, you better come here with the vision. Because the Bible says, write the vision and make it plan. So that they that run may run with it. So if you don't have a vision, sit yourself down. Because the people that come broken and hurt and running and depressed and hungry and tired and naked 
and destitute, they need someone that can take them to the place. Huh. 